Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, we have an absolute banger, baby. Let's get it. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the master in the art of sound design in DaVinci Resolve, so that way you can learn all these tips and tricks. But guys, before we jump in, I wanna let you know that I am holding a free live masterclass on how you can become a beginner to pro editor A to Z on November 20th, and you are not gonna wanna miss it. But the thing is, is there's only 500 spots available, so if you are watching this, then you're one of the lucky few to go click the link right now and make sure you can attend this live call. I'm going to be going over all the secrets, tips, and tricks that I know as an editor. That way you guys can get live sauce and all that stuff. So make sure you go join that. But without further ado, we are going to hop into DaVinci Resolve right now. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I was able to just basically break down this sound design. So here's the thing. We're going to need to go based off of the effects on the video. So as you can tell here, first things first we have is basically a zoom out transition. The thing is guys, is if you guys wanna go ahead and grab my pack, which is the sound effect pack, you can grab that in the bio or you can wait till the live call, which I'm going to let you know how you can get my sound effects there as well. So I join that call and I can give you some free sauce with the sound effects. So here's my sound effects. Basically, these are all my sound effects. I have them just preloaded just in DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see here, if we double click, we have all of these super, super cool swooshes that I actually made. Like I made these with my voice memos. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop this one right here for the intro. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it off like right about right there. And obviously we want it to last with the zoom. So we're gonna kind of put it right here. And, and obviously right now it's way too loud. So if we play it, it, sounds way too loud, but you can hear it already sounds good. Just like that. Cool, boom, just like that. So now if we wanna make this sound a gajillion times better, we're just gonna go ahead and turn this down by like three. And this is where the sauce is, it's in the pitch. So under semitones, we're gonna go ahead and turn these down by like three or two, it's totally a preference. So that way it sounds way, a lot lower, a lot deeper, and it goes with the actual video. And if we play the audio, you can go ahead and compare this up and it'll sound a lot better. If you edit in, so it sounds a lot better, and if you want, you can also turn it up too and just adjust. But uh, basically, just like that, super cool. And then if we go ahead and play this frame by frame, you could tell here that we have a vert transition. So if we want to make this vert transition come to life, what we're gonna have to do is add a sound effect that's going to pair it up with that. So right here, I have this RH camera sound effect. Boom. And then we have this cassette tape sound effect. So what I was able to do is I was able to drag and drop on this one right here, the RH camera effect. And what we applied to was a negative six and then nothing else. So just a negative six. Then with the cassette tape, I'm just gonna redo it for you guys. So we dragged on the cassette tape just like so, and we put it like about right there and we want it to last just about the whole clip. So we're gonna cut it there. We're gonna fade this off just a little bit. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn this down and then turn the semitones down as well by two. The cool thing about semitones is you can almost create a whole different sound effect. So if I raise the semitones to make it a higher pitch and then the next sound effect, say I wanna reuse it, all I gotta do is lower the semitones and it is a complete different sound effect. So boom, just like that. Now we have this sound effect. So it looks super cool. It matches up perfectly. Now we have this sound effect right here. So I put on this leveling effect. So it like kind of fades off and on just like that. So we have this mouse click sound effect. So literally it's just a simple mouse click sound effect. We're gonna drag the mouse click sound effect on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna literally take this one click, the last click. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place it every frame is what I did. And if you can see here, I changed it down to nine. And so I basically just placed it on every single frame that matched up with the actual boom and then as soon as every single text came on, I slapped on this one right here. And this is called a paper effect, but I was able to be creative with it and use it for a transition sound effect. So all I did was simply grab two frames of it, put it at the end here and turn it up by one and turn the semitones down a bunch. So now, so now you have similar to that and then recycling the, uh, the same sound effect right here right here because I did the same exact, you know, flicker on and on effect. So, so boom. So now right here we have another zoom out so we can literally just recycle this animation right here. So we can go ahead and just like that. And then what we have is a cool animation right here. So 
what are we gonna do is we're gonna add a longer swoosh. So we have, we have this swoosh right here that we can go ahead and add within this actual one right here. We're gonna turn it down by five. I don't know, I don't really like the way that one sounds. So we're gonna add the longer one. So this is the long swoosh, so, so that fits literally perfect. So in order to you know sauce this up a little bit, we're gonna turn the semitones down and turn it down just in general. So now, sounds super fire and it literally fits the, the, the animation perfectly. So then we have a simple zoom in, which now we can go ahead and just take this animation right here and place that right here and the same thing just turning it down and then turning the semitones down just like that so it's just really subtle boom just like that super slick animation and we don't really need any sound effects for this part right here of the video but as far as for the rest of the video there's not really a whole lot of sound effects that we're going to do this is probably one of the biggest tips that we're going to do so in my pack i have this riser sound effect so as you you all know it sounds like that so if you want it it's gonna sound like it's on the left side of the speaker. So in order to get rid of that, we're gonna double click this 2.0 right here and go to change track type and then just change it to mono. Now it is in the middle and it is all good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this riser on a literal separate track. So on track number six. So, so as you can see right here, it's literally just uh, basically just the, just going to go into my audio so now if we play this back. So if we go ahead and just play the sound effects only, we can literally listen to the sound effects and then the riser and then the music. So this is what we look like right now. So you can tell it's just very subtle zoom in, swooshes, this, that, and the third. And you can look at my timeline with all these sound effects that looks absolutely insane, even though it's just a short form content video with not even that much motion graphics anyways. So for that to be that many sound effects with a little bit of motion graphics just makes the audio and just makes the whole reel in general. So what am I talking about to make this riser sound better? So one, it's just too loud. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn this down by like three. Then we're gonna go to the music page. This is going to be very important. And as you can see, it's on audio track number six. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the A. We're gonna double click the, the blue line right here and go ahead and hit band six and turn this down until the frequency says 400. So now if we listen to this, it's a lot more underwater. So we can turn this up. So now it sounds a lot better. So if we turn this up, we can now, it sounds something like this. So it sounds a lot more underwater. And it just sounds just all in general, just 10 times better. But that is going to conclude this video. Don't forget to join the free live masterclass with the link down below so you can learn more about this, more in depth, more raw and everything. So I will see you guys in the next video.